experience. Oh, I, figured, oh, oh, oh. I figured we should document this moment. So, how are we feeling? First moments in Amsterdam. Uh, two days, yep, two days in. We got here last night. <laughs> we got here last night at around 5 p.m. Two nights ago, yep. Last night, literally last night. Oh, yep, yep. Okay, he says I'm off my wits. <laughs> we got here last night. <laughs> because tokens. Oh yeah, we gotta tell you guys about that later. We saw someone being an actual scam artist. American. Was she American? Yes. Yeah, because she said, I wish yeah. I could keep it. Yeah, yeah she was yeah. American. Anyways, we're now walking to get Miles' weird sandwiches. Um, what else to update you on? Basically, I'm never going back to America. Yeah. Basically, when in doubt. Been on live television before. <laughs> You guys, just travel for the rest of your life. Never work. Never go back to work. Just quit. Just quit your job. <laughs> quit it. That's what Jack Black says. What did Jack Black say about the man? He said, you know what? You're always going to lose to the man. So no, just quit. Only... No. Just quit. That's stick it to the man. That's, that's what he said. Stick. Jack Black said, stick it to stick the man. Stick it to the maniosis. Stick it to the maniosis. I have it. It's in my soul. And traveling only made it worse. So guess what? Starting now. With? Declaration Bruce on what? With weird sandwiches. Oh yeah, but not that. I mean, I'll get a weird sandwich. It'll be fine. It's gonna be egg salad. <laughs> we're gonna do what we're gonna do. <laughs> You're gonna be blown away by these things. Anyways, to get to the maniosis, we're never going back. We're never going back. <laughs> haven't properly talked to you guys until now. We got to Amsterdam on Monday night, checked into the hotel, and then we went to a nice, just casual restaurant for dinner. We got Indonesian food, it was really good. Then the next day, yesterday, we woke up and had like a full day. We went and got a nice little breakfast. We went to the Heineken Museum, and guys, we got a little drunk. And at first we weren't sure how the tour was gonna be because it wasn't like a full like tour with a tour guide. And it was kind of like half tour, half museum. And when we figured that out, we weren't sure exactly how it was gonna go, but it actually turned out to be like such a cool experience if you're in Amsterdam, especially if you're here when it's cold. It's a great way to get off the streets for a little bit. I have to tell this story too. So basically we had like drink tokens that we could get, you know, beers with as we were doing the tour. And we saw at one of the last bars, this girl go up to the bartender and she like was going to give them a token to get a drink. And she was like, oh, I wish I could keep it. Like talking about the token as if she wanted to have like a little keepsake from the tour. And we saw the bartender be like, oh, you can just keep it. Like I don't care it's fine like you can keep it and miles and i were joking like what if she is the biggest con artist on the planet like keeping these tokens so she can just get like unlimited drinks we were like that would be so crazy that would be so funny but she really did it in such an unassuming way it really seemed like she just wanted like a little souvenir and so we were kind of like joking the whole time that like what if this girl is just like the craziest con artist and this is just like how she gets by in life and then when we were leaving we saw her go up to the bar and get a drink with her token that she kept and we were like oh my god she was an actual con artist so that was really fun and honestly just really crazy i've never actually seen like a con artist in action and she was a pretty slick one so yeah then after that we were a little drunk we were a little day drunk which in my opinion is the best type of drunk and we just kind of walked around the city we got some amazing japanese sandwiches yeah they were japanese sandwiches and i'm not gonna lie i did kind of judge them as we were on the way miles found the sandwich shop and they they're interesting looking sandwiches right they're not your normal looking sandwich so i did say okay like we can go to your weird sandwich place and he wouldn't let me live that down that i called it weird especially after how good they were like probably the best sandwich I've ever had. But then last night we went on a canal boat tour and we saw all the lights that they have up for the holiday season. And that was really fun and like romantic. Again, open bar. And then we got just like a nice sushi dinner. And as you can tell by the progression of the day, with the Heineken Museum, then the open bar canal tour. You can assume that right now, the next day, I, I do have a headache, you guys. I almost made it through the whole trip without being hungover at all. And I wouldn't say I'm hungover right now. I do just have like a little bit of a headache, but I almost made it through the whole trip without even a headache. I also chipped my nail at some point during our travel day to Amsterdam. Not sure when it happened, but this symbolizes like exactly how I'm feeling in life right now. Like this nail is a true reminder that like 
the the wonderful trip that we're on it is coming to a close we have today we have tomorrow and then we're flying home the next day and i'm just so bummed about it i feel like on this trip especially since it's just me and miles and we have the same temperament of like we have the same amount of downtime that we need in order to recharge we have the same amount of like amount that we want to do during the day like we have the same you know kind of cadence when it comes to travel so i think this is truly the first trip where i don't feel like completely exhausted by traveling just because miles and i are like taking our time with it we're being very go with the flow and so i feel like i could honestly travel for like two more months like i feel i'm not run down at all other than my little headache but we really are going at such a good pace that it's making it even harder to wrap my head around the fact that we are going home soon like normally the last few days of a trip i'm like okay i'm enjoying myself but it's time it's time to go home but this time i'm just like no i'm gonna move here i'm gonna live here i've said that about a hundred times at this point that i'm not coming back so we'll see what happens in two days but from now until then i'm just gonna continue enjoying amsterdam and yeah today we're just gonna walk around we might go to a few shops and then we're gonna go to the van gogh museum which is gonna be so cool i'm really excited for that back around 4 p.m. and we had our typical usual little like mid-afternoon late afternoon like siesta I guess you could call it basically pretty much every day we've been having like an hour and a half to two hour like reboot session after all the daytime activities before the nighttime activities and it's just how how I like to live life you know what I mean like in life I just need a reboot session I guess like the reboot sessions while we've been on this trip have been very like purposeful and I think that's kind of the difference between like vacation rebooting and at home rebooting so purposeful rebooting rebooting with a purpose oh, it's almost like a power nap but it's like a power relaxation session and i think that's something that i can like infuse into my daily life at home of just like a power not not for the sake of like being more productive but for the sake of just like feeling better i think but yeah we're going to dinner tonight if you guys have been watching the videos for a while you will know that miles has just like he's so good at finding random restaurants i was kind of stressing out before this trip about like not having every single restaurant or every single day planned. I never wanted the day to be like fully packed, but I also didn't want to, you know, get to a situation where we get to a city, we're trying to find a place to eat dinner and like the places we would want to go were filled or maybe we should have had reservations or stuff like that. I just didn't want to like miss out on things because we didn't plan. So we kind of did half and half. We had some nights where we had reservations already. We had some nights that were free and being on this trip with Miles and being on this trip that's been so long and having so many nights that were just free, it's really like solidified in my mind that like Miles can figure it out. Miles can find us some great food, some great spots, like give him 10 minutes and he'll find us a great thing to do for the night. So that's what we did tonight. He just looked around, found us a nice little restaurant that is about a six minute walk from our hotel. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. And then our last full day in Europe is tomorrow. <laughs> it's so sad. This is our last full day of our entire trip. We've now done London, Copenhagen, Amsterdam, and tomorrow we're waking up and doing the big flight home. Amsterdam is honestly just like so quaint and so cute. I love walking the canals. It's just been like so great to explore. Yesterday we went over to like a little like I guess shopping district, a little boutique area, and we like actually literally lost track of time like looking at all the little shops and all the cute stuff and we actually like almost fully missed our appointment at the Van Gogh Museum. We realized we were like, oh, it's 2.45 we have booked a 3 p.m tour we were literally about to miss that but the van gogh museum was also really cool we've kind of done on accident in each city i think we've done one museum in each city maybe we actually did two in copenhagen or i guess we did two here because we did the heineken it was kind of a tour slash museum and then also van gogh but yeah the tours have been a fun way to learn about the city through like a specific viewpoint through a specific lens so those have been really fun today i think we're just gonna like 
literally explore. We're gonna walk around. We don't have any plans other than to go to our same breakfast spot that we've been going to every single day. It's about a 10 minute walk from our hotel. They have this incredible brioche scrambled egg sriracha mayo. Oh, that's the other thing about Amsterdam. They are like the king of sriracha mayo. Something about the sriracha mayo here is literally fire. So we're gonna go there, get our third little scrambled egg brioche sriracha mayo situation. The dinner last night, as I told you guys, so amazing. Miles has like actual a true skill for just finding spots. And specifically, it's not only that the food is good in places that he finds spontaneously, it's also like always a vibe in there. And to me, that's almost just as important as, you know, the food you're eating in a restaurant is the vibe of the restaurant. Like you don't wanna be eating good food in a place with like overhead lighting that's just horrible. You don't wanna be eating in a place that's completely empty. You don't wanna be eating in a place that's just like not the vibe, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, my other highlight about Amsterdam, it was a Dutch pub where we tasted some Jennifer, which is like a Dutch gin. And we were just hanging out, we were chilling. And then all of a sudden this huge fat orange cat just starts patrolling the restaurant. He was like, hey, I'm making my rounds. This is my house. And yeah, that was pretty cool. And there was just like one waitress and one waiter. I think they must have owned the place. They yeah, they were, I don't know if they were a couple that owned the place or what the situation was, but they were just like picking up the cat, hanging out with the cat. It was probably a little unsanitary, but that was just a fun vibe to see this like pub owner just like hanging around this cat, holding his cat as he went from table to table. That's something that we've noticed while we're here is that everyone obviously has great like work ethic and everyone seems to like really care about their jobs, but no one is like living for their jobs. No one is letting their job like define them, which I think like is something America just like forgot and lost a long time ago. Like you guys, I have great work ethic. I want to do good at my job. I want to succeed. I want to do well, but I don't live for my job. I'm just going to say it. I don't live for it. And that's how the people here are. Like that guy, he loved his job. He was so excited when we walked in. He told us about the gender. He told us the way to drink it. And he was so like genuinely enthusiastic and passionate about it. But also he was just walking around holding his cat and he was not about to apologize for it. Oh so yeah. Anyways, last day of Amsterdam. Here we go. Back in the hotel in the pretty much exact same place I left you. <laughs> we spent pretty much all day today just walking around, exploring, doing some boutique, you know, shopping. I got this little ring because you guys, I have this problem in me that like I go through trends when it comes to like buying new things. Like I'll find one jacket that I love and then I'll buy like 10 jackets like that and that'll be my thing. I'll be like a jacket person for the next like two months. Or if I find like like for example, earrings that I love, then I'll be an earring person for the next two months and every time I go out, I'll pick up an earring. And now obviously because I've got this ring on this finger, I feel like I'm entering like a ring phase where I'm gonna be obsessed with rings for the next few months. So that kind of explains this purchase here, but it's super cute, it's just a thin, gold band with a little heart. Then I also got this t-shirt. It's from a brand called Scotch and Soda. It's a cool brand that was started here in Amsterdam. I'm not sure if there are locations elsewhere, but we were just kind of looking around and this is like the perfect graphic tee. So I got this, I'm really excited about this. So yeah, successful shopping day. Really excited for tonight, but also really sad. It's our last dinner. We're going somewhere that's literally two blocks from our hotel. I don't think I've mentioned, we're staying at the Sir Albert Hotel in Amsterdam. It's been really great. I think it's in a really great location. It's a little farther outside of the city center, but there's a lot of good restaurants around this hotel right here. And there's a whole like street market that's really fun that's like literally a block away. And they're like true canals, like the canals that you picture when you picture Amsterdam. Those are only like what, like 20, probably more like a 30 minute walk away, but it's a nice pretty walk away. So yeah, Amsterdam has treated us well. We're gonna do a little recap of our day. <laughs> Wow, my face is really close right there. I look like a turtle. That's still not a better angle. Well, can you help Sit. me out here. Okay, so Miles. Mm -hmm. Favorite day, favorite moment. How about I do a couple from each place? Okay. I think the first highlight that comes to my mind, because I think you've told the channel I used to play soccer, so mm -hmm. football. Sorry. Yeah, we went to a Tottenham mm -hmm. versus Bournemouth. Bournemouth. Oh, there you go. Tottenham Bournemouth game. That was really fun. That was our like second or third day in London. That was really fun. Yeah, just being at the stadium and the environment mm -hmm. and getting to show you a little of what I love was amazing. Well, my favorite part of the trip goes without being said, but getting engaged to this beautiful lady. I, that feels like 45 years ago. Yeah. Just because we've been traveling. So we've been obviously doing like new and different things every single day. So like we even forget what we did yesterday, let alone two weeks ago when we got engaged. I think it was like chilling and doing some of the like 
pub hopping we did yep. in London, including our Culpepper Hotel, mm -hmm. Angel Sea Arms, um, getting to yeah. try some of the sausage rolls and getting tested to fall in love with the yeah. mustard um, horseradish combo, which well, they do more in, in Europe slash London, it seems. Yeah, you guys know I'm a horseradish person, so the mustard in, it's more in London and kind of Copenhagen, but really London, it was like full horseradish mustard, mm -hmm. you guys. Like, I gotta figure out how to import that back to the States. That shit's fire. In Copen, I think it definitely was air, mm -hmm. which was the spa experience that you got me for Christmas. Yeah, that's, so far you're Christmas. hitting on the same things with me. I mm -hmm. loved the football match in London and I loved going to the <laughs> spa in air. That was what I got Miles for Christmas as a Christmas present. It's ancient baths, so beautiful, so serene. It feels like you're in like Game of Thrones, like in the old times, like in the mm -hmm. hot baths. And then we had massages with the hot stones. That was pretty incredible. And also in Copenhagen, our hotel had like a little spa room with a cold plunge and a sauna and then just like a warm room to hang out in. That also like took it to the next level. And the food in Copenhagen was, was crazy. It was amazing, yes. So we had one of the best good. restaurants ever. You guys, sure. I think that they know a little bit that mm -hmm. I'm not the biggest meat eater. I was vegan, then I was vegetarian. Now I'm just kind of picky with meat. I wouldn't say I'm not at all vegetarian anymore, but I am still very picky with meat. And in Copenhagen, the sausage, the mm. salami, I'm gonna have dreams about it. Like I'm gonna be chasing the salami charcuterie board thing from based till the day I die. And then Amsterdam was just, I love our area that we're in, mm -hmm. yeah. And we got this amazing little breakfast cafe that I yeah. think just, just grounded me, so I appreciated that. Yeah, highlight of Amsterdam. Yeah, I Heineken. think, well, the Heineken Museum was awesome. I think also we've walked, I think, the most in Amsterdam because mm -hmm. London, there's the tube, and also it was raining. Then in Copenhagen, it was super, super freezing. So we did still walk a lot in Copenhagen, but I'm not gonna lie, we did Uber probably more than we should have just because it was actually freezing. But Amsterdam, it's not raining, it's a little bit warmer, and we've just been walking around, walking the streets. And I feel like that's, I mean, how you need to experience this city. I think in the summertime, both in Copenhagen and here, the way to do it is really to bike, but mm -hmm. for this time of year to walk, I've just loved our walks. If you stay on the canals and if you stay over there, it's just like such a wonderful walk. That's kind of been my favorite part of just like moseying around this city. And yeah, we have gone to the same breakfast place every single day. <laughs> yeah, so that sums up our trip. Basically, we're about to go to one last dinner. Mm. We'll see how this is. I hope we end on a high note. After this, I will bring you guys along for normal, getting back to normalcy. It's gonna be a rough adjustment, but I'm, I wanna try and bring some of the things that I learned on this trip about me, about food, about walking, about just like life. I wanna try and bring some of this stuff back home with me. And I wanna try and really go into the top of this next year, like really, like really trying to be the best version of myself. We'll see, I'll bring you guys along for that journey. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little like travel vlog section. If you guys haven't checked out London, or Copenhagen, or the engagement vlog, go check it out. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. I got some Prosecco in the fridge, I just remembered! The party don't stop till we're on the plane. <laughs>